Fucking hell, that wasn't tight. Right, so today's job, we're going to be getting rid of that ISO over panel, big panel. And we're going to be sticking that on. So that one, 150 watts that one. Uh, the one watts on the roof is um, 100 watts. So, but the reason why I'm changing it, because originally I wasn't going to go for a flexi on it, but the reason why I'm going to change it is this one up here, I'll show you. When my roof box is on, the roof box actually just it shadows this section of, a, of the solar panel here. Can I ask And because um, it's shadowed that bit there, it renders renders the whole panel dead. So when I've got my roof box on, I can't really bloody use my solar panel, which is a bit of a chew, really. So my thinking was, I mean, I've looked everywhere for a different size panel, but... It's just trying to get one built the opposite way so it's not long and it's quite wider. But I upgraded this one which is 150 watt and it's slightly smaller. But the plan is on this section here now where this is is disconnect the panel. Can burn it all out, hanging. Needs a right good scrub in this van. Disconnect this panel off here now. And then there's a possibility I might move the glands back, but it depends where them holes are. So in hindsight now, I should have drilled closer to the back here, and then maybe gone through where the um, two little grommets here. I don't drop the wires down there, but never mind. So plan is, take that panel off, shove it back, and then um, see where that sits. I know for my roof box, get that in his life doesn't shadow that one so I've measured it all up and everything like that so I'm just going to do a check now and make sure everything fits but a simple swap over all I've got to do is basically set that one out chop the wires and then uh, rejoin the wires they'll be done in the roof where the join is and it saves me feeding the wires all the way through then going through if we just join that so I'll send up cutting these um, I think call them C4 connectors chop them off because you, you never get them back out again because there's a little cap in there and you can't get to the barb on it. But we'll chop them off, get it in, measured, and we'll do a quick wattage test as well, see if it's working before we even glue it down. You know what, I bet I could have fitted two panels though, side by side. Could have had a cheeky 200 watt on that one. As you can see now, I've got remove all these. These are all sick of flexed on. But pull them off. Clean the roof. I'm not looking forward to getting that sick of flex stuff off. It's supposed to be a nightmare. But never mind. We'll get on there. What I'm going to do now is going to do a side by side uh, panel test. Just curious, it's just a test as well for make sure the panel's working and also curious what this one's putting out. Not much sun here at my neck because it's like shaded this bit section here, but I'll tell you what, it's freezing. It's like seven degrees. And you won't think it with sun out. Look at it, bright sunshine. And it's pissing freezing. Right, so we'll get this other panel up here now, put them side by side and we'll see if it's putting any power out. Just as a little test. A little tip for getting these off. If you've not got the tool for it, get some circlip pliers and then just claw them both up. It should. Pop out. So as you can see now, that panel there is a lot shorter than the uh, 100 watt one. Bear in mind, this is a 150 and this is 100 watt. But this one's got one, two, three, four, five bank at the bottom. We've only got four here. No, I didn't want to, I wouldn't, wouldn't have minded a black one for the bears, like, you know, so it doesn't short, so it matches a black roof, but it's kind of fine, anyway. 
well, you can find them, but you can look like under watt ones, and they're just dead expensive for they are. So I'm gonna give this one a whirl anyway, and we'll try it, see what it does. But let's have a little test now, see what, like, what we can get on these. Here comes the sun. Let's just go on now. This one, see if this works. Do a test spot first. So, this bit here, you know, I've used this no, no nonsense sealant remover. It says leave it on 15 minutes and dry it. And on this side, I've just used BC90. Look at that. That's sick flex. Absolutely comes off perfect. So, BC90 is the future on that stuff, I think. So, like I said, I've just spread a bit on that now and it's just lifted it completely off. Look. So, I'll give that a bit of a clean first, test it, see if it's not damaging my roof. And if it's not, I think that's the stuff to use. Happy days. I think that one's going to take ages. And it doesn't look like it's really taking it off as such. So, we'll try some more. We'll give it a clean off, try that BC90 on a few more. And hopefully, we'll get this looking nice and clean again. I'll just rip that off. <sighs> Nightmare. Well, it's not that good. It does get it off a bit, but you can see, like, it's not gone all the way down into it. It's quite hard that you know to get that bit off.
them connect to the waterproof anyway, so shut all it off. Pissing, freezing. Right, so just have to pop this roof up there, get these cables um, fed in. And on my roof, I have um, these things here. I don't know if you can see if it's clear enough on camera. But these screw the back end down, so you got to unscrew these out. Probably end up changing these for a quick release. You know, like you have on bikes and stuff, because they just take an absolute age for it to screw out them. So we have one in there, and then one stashed in a cupboard up top. Which a bit of a pain in the ass to get to, like, but I think if we get a quick release on it, it should work better than that. But at the front, these are locked off on here, so I have a key for these at the front of my van. Key in, undo that one, and drive this side, that one whilst open. That's it. So then I have a little hatch on here, which I use for popping up. You don't see many of these knocking about, to be honest with you, these types of pop tops. Just move that TV around. And then I'll just check this out. A little portal. And that's roof popped up. See, on this one here, all this is all fastened away on my pop top. All opened up, there's my dodgy wiring. So sort that out now, I might get finally around to actually routing that proper. Okay, so just gonna feed these cables into here. Hopefully we can get past that rubber. Yep. So there you have it. Flush fit panel, mounted to the roof. I've actually swapped this round so the actual looks better anyway like that way. So then when you're driving, the range is in that side and not on this side here and I've just curled them round ideally I would have wanted it to be a bottom mount but I couldn't find any panels anywhere at 150 watt which would basically just drop into the hole and that's so which like a flush fit but I think that'll do I think what I'm gonna end up doing on this one as well because it's white it's doing me head already is um probably put another bead along the edges here just to tidy it up and all the way along the top there so it looks a lot better you know finish on it I think I'll leave that for another day because it's going to absolutely piss it down in a minute. So I'll get these bits cleaned up off here. There we go, 150 watt panel, stuck on. Box should fit on, roof box should say, so I'm happy. See how long this one lasts. Hopefully we'll get the uh, the heat issues on it. We have left a little bit of a gap under there on both sides and in the middle as well. 
on here so that's not been sealed at all so we'll get a, a bit of airflow underneath it but only time will tell right cheers for watching thumbs up thumbs up if you thought it was all right see you on next time right so it's overcast what have we got on here now got a 0.7 amp charge nice and on top we're showing 0.8 amp current charge plus that's charging up my speaker as well so happy days that's working well that's what i wanted i think next upgrade now is the leisure battery because i think the leisure battery is shot so we'll get that next on the list get that chopped out but i've also got a folding bracket see you on next one Oh, that was a catch and a half then. Well, that was a 400 pound camera down, so I don't know.